What's up everyone and thank you for stopping by the channel. Today's project is this Predator engine from Harbor Freight and the problem is that a simple misprint almost made me return this engine. Let's take a good look at this misprint and see how I dealt with the problem. In this video, we examine some misleading information on this engine. However, I don't want this to discourage you from buying one. After installing it on a walk-behind blower in a previous video, I'm very satisfied with it. Now, this is not a repair video, but if you want to see the engine installed on a blower, I'll add a link in the description of a video where we replace a broken engine with this 301cc Predator engine. The previous engine broke mainly because it had to be adapted to the blower and the adapter failed, taking the engine with it. I did some research and found that the 8 horsepower engine from Harbor Freight was a great fit for another project. Before buying it, I looked over the floor model, the pictures, and the information on the side of the box. Now the first problem was that the valve cover on the box didn't match the floor model, so that was my first sign that I shouldn't believe everything on the side of the box. I just figured the picture was taken years ago of an older engine, and that they never took another one mainly because they probably already had thousands of boxes already made. However, I never thought that the engine specifications would be out of date or incorrect, and unfortunately, that's exactly what happened. The information that I was most concerned with is the bolt that I would need to attach a blower fan to the output shaft. The previous engine's bolt was surprisingly small, but according to this information, it was the next size up and had an extremely fine pitch. As you can see, it's 7 16 24. Now, initially, I was only concerned that it had a one inch shaft, so I wasn't concerned with the bolt size. So I went to a small local hardware store and searched for the bolt, but as you can guess, I couldn't find it. Next, I went to two automotive stores only to get the same results. I was then informed about specialty fastener companies in the city, and you know what they told me? That it simply did not exist and that I would have to have one made. Now, I didn't open the box yet, just in case if I wanted to take it back, but Harbor Freight assured me that I could return it as an open box. So I decided to open it and take a look just to see if the engine had the bolt on it already. Unfortunately, it didn't, but what I did find was the manual, and inside it, it would turn out to be the correct information, 7 16 20. So I went back to the hardware store and found the bolt that I needed, and I was able to start the project I bought the engine for. In the end, I was extremely pleased with the way the engine started and ran, so much that I would say this was my favorite small engine project for the year. So unfortunately, because of a small typo on the outside of this box, I almost returned this engine, but instead my project was just held up for about two days. I've never run into a situation like this before, but now that I know, I'll certainly do more research before buying next time. So my question is, have you ever ran into a technical problem like this when working on a project before? Did you overcome the problem, or did you have to make some changes just to get it done? You just heard what I went through, but I'm more curious about your answer. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time. Please feel free to ask any questions, and I hope to see you in my next video.